Hello. I didn't think I was going to be back here uh, that soon, here on the, on this side of the you know the audience. But it's great to be here. It's great to be back. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to give you a little presentation about the company, Lily. So we launched a pre-sales campaign in on May 12, 2015, last year, and we're delivering our first units this summer, very soon. So it's a very exciting time for our company right now. Let me show you the video we used for the launch last year. So 2015 was an amazing year for our company. We launched a pre-sales campaign. We had 30 million views uh, on our video. We did $34 million in pre-sales, which was one of the largest pre-sales company for a new hardware company, and a lot of following on social media. But let's backtrack a little bit. So this picture was taken by my mother in the summer of 2013. Uh, I finished UC Berkeley in 2013. We, my whole family came here from France. We had this great trip. And I remember very well browsing through pictures on the family camera, and I couldn't see my mother in any images. Which is kind of, you know, cause she cared so much about all these memories. And as a result, because she was taking the picture, she was missing from all these memories. And so this is really how the first idea for a flying camera came about. And so what makes a flying camera really different than an RC control, you know, RC drone, is the fact that it's autonomous. It flies itself. And so, the first six months of the company, my, this is my co-founder, Henry, who is uh, studying computer science and robotics here at Cal. Um, the first six months, all we were trying to do is really prove that a flying camera could follow a moving object in real time. And so we had uh, this computer vision algorithm running on an off-the-shelf quadcopter, tracking one of our friends with a yellow headband, you can see here, um, on campus. Uh, good memories. Uh, but that didn't work well. Computer vision works 20% of the time in very specific environments. And so that's when we decided to build a second prototype that has a, a tracking device. So it had this big, clunky, you know, 3 d printed tracking device uh, that used a GPS module and inertial sensors. And so this other prototype didn't work really perfectly either because it would work kind of well most of the time, but not very reliably. And that's when we decided to integrate both computer vision with the tracking device. Um, and we, at that point, we really hit an inflection point in terms of user experience. Not only we were we able to get uh, reliable tracking by fusing computer vision with inertial sensors and uh, GPS, but also a lot of new features emerged. Um, by knowing where all the components are on the units, the camera is able to stabilize itself in free fall. So the camera can detect free fall and stabilize itself, which is what you saw in the video, the throw in the air. By having a built-in camera, we can have a waterproof unit. So the unit is very portable, it's waterproof, uh, because it's, um, it's compact and sealed. The problem we're solving is that camera technology has evolved uh, tremendously, obviously, this, since the 17th century. The very, this is a, a, a render a illustration of the first camera. It was called Camera Obscura. And you know, since then, image quality, form factors have leaped forward. Uh, but the core experience has pretty much stayed the same. It always requires an operator. 
and we are removing the, the human operator and replacing it with artificial intelligence. And really the core problem we're solving is that um, we as human beings have a fundamental need to tell stories and a fundamental need to have other human characters, uh, characters in these stories. And so what we're doing with Lily is really, and this, I, I love this illustration. <laughs> it, it, it illustrates, yeah. <laughs> So this is, yeah, in one, one image says a thousand words. Um, this is what we're trying to really, taking storytelling to the next level um, by enabling people to always be in the image with their loved ones and uh, to create richer content. And there's a lot of other things we're doing. Uh, currently, what you saw in the video, the flying camera is really just the, the tip of the iceberg. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We're shipping the first units this summer. Uh, if you want to get in touch, my email is Antoine, A-N-T-O-I-N-E, at lily.camera. Uh, I want to say, just to, to close, um, when I was 16 years old, I met this guy in my high school. His cousin had gone to Berkeley. And that's how I ended up you know, coming here and being really you know, dedicated to, to traveling here, coming here, and, and, and studying here. But what I found here is an amazing community, very diverse um, and extremely intelligent, in, intelligent. And I didn't know much about computer science and robotics until I got here. But when I got here, I got to hang out with mathematicians, computer scientists, uh, philosophers, a lot of very different people, although I was studying business administration. So super grateful to you know, have gone to Berkeley and super excited to be here and, and give back. So thank you.